If you place a blueprint with all the modules configured, the bots will helpfully add them for you. However, if you've already built the machines and want to add modules to them, uh, perhaps speed modules and better belts to upgrade a facility, or you want to add some new productivity modules, then you're out of luck. Unless you rip the buildings out, there's no way to do it automatically. Whilst you can change recipes by dropping a new blueprint on top, you can't change the modules in the machines. You can go over and chuck them in by hand, but Factorio is all about automation, so that's not ideal, and in some modded games, or even vanilla megabases, the travel time to those machines might be quite significant. So, today we're going to take a look at the Module Inserter mod. Welcome to Lawrence Plays Factorio. This mod is very simple in intent, but is extremely useful, especially when playing space exploration. It gives you a way to tell your construction bots to place specific modules in buildings, and even better, it allows you to configure large numbers of buildings in one go. First, you need to click on the Module Inserter button at the top of the screen. The modules on it make it very easy to spot. From this window, you can select a building type in the left column, and then choose what module type and what tier on the right. By default, if a building has multiple module slots, then placing a module in the first slot will automatically fill all empty slots with the same module. You can still update them manually if you want. Perhaps you want two productivity modules and one speed, so you get the production bonus without slowing the machine down. You can add as many different machine types as you want. The list will get longer if you use up the last space on it, like this. Each different type of machine can be configured to get different sets of modules. The mod will let you add a building type to the list more than once, but it will always use the first instance of that building. Once you've configured the module types, select the MI Module Inserter button from the bottom toolbar. If it's not visible for you, it might be hidden in the three dots menu, but you can add it to your bar from there. The Module Inserter Planner works very similarly to the Upgrade Planner, in that you drag it over an area, and any buildings in that area will be tagged to be modified as applicable. The bots will then fly out with the new modules and put them in your machines. You can also use it to change the modules as well. Perhaps you've filled them with Tier 1 modules, but can now afford Tier 3. Dragging an updated module inserter planner across will cause the bots to bring the new modules out and take the old ones away. You'll probably want to make sure that there's a blue or green chest requesting these modules so that they can be taken out of circulation and upgraded as well. This planner will work from map view and, if playing space exploration, from satellite view as well, so you can update machines anywhere in your factory. Fantastic! Some of your assembly buildings will need productivity modules, another will need speed, depending on the sort of recipes you're using in them, but you don't want to have to redefine the module inserter every time you use it. Using the panel on the right, you can save your current configuration of modules by typing in a description into the box and then clicking save. Now, if you change the module settings around, perhaps saving your new configuration as well, you can recall the old one simply by clicking on its name. By default, the window will close when you do, but as you can see, the correct settings have been selected. From this panel, you can also export your module configuration to a string, or import it from a string. This is useful if you want to save it for another playthrough, or swap configurations with a friend. These options probably aren't really necessary with a vanilla game, but in a more complex modded run it could be quite useful, especially for getting that perfect balance between high-end productivity and efficiency modules. There are a few options for this mod as well. In the Per Player section, you can change the background colour of the button in the top left, or hide it completely. You can prevent the window auto-closing when you load a saved configuration. You can prevent overwriting previously saved configurations, and you can tell it not to automatically fill all the slots when you choose the first module. I haven't changed any of these myself, the defaults have worked really well for me. Finally, in the Shared Map options, you can set how many module requests the system will add per tick. Again, I've not felt the need to change the default here, it hasn't caused me any problems, but that could be because I do tend to use the mod on relatively small numbers of buildings at a time. If you had a massive smeltery or circuit production area that you're making modifications to, you might want to increase that. I hope that this quick introduction to the Module Inserter mod has been useful. I like this mod, and I've found it a very useful addition to space exploration. Are there any quality of life mods you just can't live without? Let me know in the comments, and I'll try to cover them in a future video. Thanks for watching.